Welcome to another one of my trip reports. Today I will be flying with Virgin Australia in premium economy to the Sunshine Coast on a Boeing 737. Today's trip report begins at Sydney Kingsford Smith International Airport Terminal 2. Terminal 2 here in Sydney is the main domestic terminal that serves all major domestic airlines, excluding Qantas, to a wide variety of destinations across New South Wales, the other states and territories, and a few islands. With a temperature of around 16 degrees centigrade this morning, and being in summer clothes, this morning wasn't pleasant. Not unbearable, but uncomfortable. Good thing is I didn't spend it too long outside. Making my way inside the terminal, I proceeded to check in. Check-in for Virgin Australia is located on the left-hand side of the building next to the Rex check-in, with a dedicated business class lane, economy lanes, bag drop and self-service kiosks, which is what I shall be using today, and are very easy and efficient. My only criticism is that they don't print the super nice sporting passes, but instead these plain boring ones. With boarding pass in hand and no bags to drop off, I headed off to security, which is located in the centre of the building and can be found by following the arrows to the All Gates sign. Security this morning were very chill and calm, despite having their hands full with a rude and disruptive passenger. I guess Sydney Airport is being refurbished with new outlets, but other than that is the food court, bars, retail outlets and convenience stores. I decided to head to my gate, where another flight was waiting to board. Whilst walking to my gate, I received a notification off my phone that Sid Squad was live streaming from the tower which gave me an opportunity to see the late arrival of my aircraft. And thanks to Sid Squad for letting me use their footage. Yeah, I always appreciate the, uh, the freest form of support here. Um, particularly if, you, uh, if you'd like to, uh, to get that. Today's aircraft is a Boeing 737-800. Registered as Victor Hotel, Victor Oscar Oscar. It joined Pacific Blue in August 2003 before switching to a New Zealand registration and then back, after which it changed liveries to what we see today. Funnily enough, I've actually been wanting to fly on this aircraft for a very long time. After the previous passengers had disembarked, boarding commenced. Economy X passengers are entitled to use the premium lane including Business Class, Velocity Platinum and Gold. Everyone else must use the general boarding lane. However, I wasn't really inspected to see if I was actually sitting in Economy X. Virgin Australia's 737-800 series aircraft are technically in a three-class configuration, with eight Business Class seats in a 2-2 configuration, 30 Premium Economy seats, or Economy X, in a 3-3 configuration, and 138 economy class seats in a 3-3 configuration. The Economy X seat has 34 inches of pitch and 17 inches of width. There is a standard tray table that folds down and extends. In the seat pocket, you'll find a safety card, Wi-Fi card, menu and air sickness bags. Above are the usual individual air vents, reading lights and flight attendant call button. As the aircraft is nearly 20 years old, you can actually see the age in the aircraft as the old entertainment screens of Pacific Blue have been covered up with white plastic. We pushed back from gate 38, 35 minutes behind schedule. I'm not popular. I've been on that one. Once again, Sid Squad
taxi to runway 34 right via Golf, Charlie, Bravo 10, Sierra, Tango and Tango 6. Whilst taxiing along Taxiway Charlie, I remembered Sid Squad was live streaming and I quickly jumped onto YouTube to catch a glimpse of my aircraft. Thank you Sid Squad for allowing me to use your footage. Now please enjoy this unedited takeoff footage. After takeoff, we turned slightly right, tracking northward towards Queensland. Flight time today is 1 hour and 13 minutes, covering a distance of 552 miles or 888 kilometers, cruising at 39,000 feet. Following the standard Entra 5 departure, we flew directly past Sydney's CBD, and down below you can see Sydney's iconic landmarks. In time, we passed over Newcastle on the central coast. I decided to have two items that I've had before off the menu, to see if any changes had been made. Unfortunately, no changes to the menu, other than the look. I asked for a banana chip muffin and berry getaway juice, which heavily tasted of pineapple. The muffin I found to be very oily, but was still very tasty. After the clouds had parted, I got a chance to see the scenery below but all I can see was the Maclay River. On board Virgin's 737s are three bathrooms, one for business and two for economy, which have everything you'd expect to find inside, including the Virgin branded hand soap. Whilst returning to my seat, I found a free row in the back, and I got a glimpse of one of New South Wales' most northern towns, which is Ballina. Soon we commenced our descent into the Sunshine Coast. Sitting on the left hand side of the aircraft when landing in the Sunshine Coast from the south gives you great views of the Gold Coast, Moreton Island, Brisbane and the Sunshine Coast itself. I highly recommend sitting on the left hand side of the aircraft for this particular reason. Now 
Now please enjoy this unedited landing footage. After landing, we backtracked runway 13 and taxied to the terminal via Alpha 2, Alpha, Bravo 1 and Bravo to Welcome Gate 7. Just as we were pulling into Gate 7, my camera decided that it was time to die. Stepping off the aircraft this morning into a lovely 28 degrees centigrade was amazing to the cool weather I left this morning. Virgin Australia, what a pleasant airline to fly on board. The Economy X product comes packaged with inclusions such as preferred overhead locker space along with priority screening at international terminals and boarding normally reserved for those flying in business class or higher statuses. It does however stop short of granting lounge access, which is unfortunate but it's understandable. The pricing of these seats usually range between $25 to $80 depending on flight length. To summarize, is Economy X worth the upgrade? Personally, I would say no. However, if you are tall or an av geek like me, then yes, it's definitely worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. And make sure to push that notification bell if you enjoy my content. And I hope to see you again in the next one. See you later.